sometimes we we have something like a very strong uh, desire or a projection that the thing that is appearing in your mind, if you get it, then your life is going to be a lot better. And then somehow it comes to you. And after a while, if you're open, you realize it's not it. It's not it. It may be fine. It may be not a terrible thing, but it's not the thing you think it would be. And <clears throat> I'm being very broad here, and broad is good because it means that so many people can hear what I'm sharing, whether it is a career or a relationship or a family or um, uh, some kind of vacation, whatever it may be. Cosmetic surgery, having a lot of money, having a good job. If you find that you're one of these people for whom even this is not enough, God bless you, because you're on the edge of a great blessing. Because actually what you're searching for is to be at home inside your heart. And uh, it's my opportunity to share this with you. Because in the human expression of consciousness, we are always looking for something. It is never content. And if it is content, it can, and if it's content with the wrong thing, it's very, very bad. Because uh, somehow, well, that's not fair to say, because maybe you have to be content with that for a while. But life is for awakening, for every human being. The opportunity of a body and a bodily existence on this planet is for the chance to awaken. And most we don't make it, not in one lifetime, maybe in successive lifetimes. But here, those who have come here, the emphasis is on making known the possibility and making that possibility into a probability and that probability into a realization. So, um, you have chosen at some point, life, you have chosen to come here. And this is what is the focus of being here in Sahaja with me at this time. We cannot guarantee what future is about. I have no concern about future in any way because it is always attended by some subjective projections, as is the past even, that we feel so much is something solid and real. That happened, but it happened to a subjective perception and is not real. Even your past will follow it. But I call to those in a very bright and beautiful and loving call, the call to awakening. It has to be in the now. There has to be the pulse of nowness in you. Because the rest is all mind and ego. So mm, this is the opportunity, I feel, to, um, to keep presenting this because there's something in us that easily falls asleep. And I'm not talking about, oh, we must be tense and running and oh, excited about waking up. But the one within you knows this, the true. And uh, it is to that that I am speaking from, and towards that, that which I'm speaking, to uh, come out of the whole into the whole, coming out of the whole of the person into the wholeness of oneness of grace and God's presence in you and be genuinely happy, everlastingly happy. God bless you and thank you. I love you.